This is Rick from Tackle Village. I'm back by my computer now so we can go on with this, this explanation of uh, hook, uh, fly tying hook sizes. Now I'm going to do it with uh, the aid of a couple of diagrams. I'll try to make it brief and see, above all simple. Uh, and remember we'll also, we've also got a blog post on this that um, you can access via the description field in this video. Okay, so basic hook, we've got the eye here, as you can see in the pointer, the shank, which is this length joining the eye to the bend um, at the throat, it joins at the throat. And we've got the bend um, coming around through 180 degrees to the point um, and then the barb if you're fishing with uh, a barbed hook. Now, um, just some few simple things about um, about sizes. So we're going to keep it really simple. So for basic uh, freshwater flies, uh, freshwater uh, hook sizes, the higher the number, the smaller the hook. Now, in practical terms, they start from a 32. That's the smallest hook you can get, and go sort of go right up to a number two, which is quite a big hook. Um, now, 32 is really, really small. For say for a midge, you're looking at maybe a 24, um, or it's seen it that sort of thing. A 24. That's probably the smallest I'd ever tie with. Uh, and then going up from you know a caddis, um, caddis or mayfly patterns can be sort of anything from 18. Um, going up to 16, 14, 12, and then 10 for really big um, mayfly patterns. Um, so the general range of trout flies you're going to be tying with uh, um, 20 through to you know maybe 10 or 8 uh, at the extreme. Of course, there's different types of hooks, you know, stream of hooks, and nymph hooks, um, dry fly hooks. So there's a bit of variance in there, which is a subject for another video, which we, in which we'll sort of break down those hook types. So that's your numbering system for basic freshwater and light saltwater hooks. Now the tricky thing is when you get to two, so the largest largest hook number, the numbering actually flicks flicks over. Um, don't ask me why, but this is this is how they want to run it. Well, I suppose you're running out of numbers, it's counting down. And what happens then is we switch to a different numbering system, which is the ORT system. Um, basically, that's where you put the number of the hook, a backslash, and then a zero in. So those numbers, um, it it flips around, so the higher the number, the larger the hook. So after a number two in the first system we mentioned, the next size up is a one O or one ought, which is one slash zero. Then you've got a two O, a three O, a four O, a five O, a six O, and so on. Um, so those ones ascend in size as you go up. Um, so that's the two numbering systems explained. Um, hopefully that's clear, and I'll bring up this Chemco hook. Uh, chart, which sort of shows, this is a really good thing, we'll put the links in the description field here. If you print this out as A4, it'll show you the actual size of these hooks. Now Tempo's probably got the biggest range of any um, hook manufacturer that I'm aware of. First we'll, we'll go through this little um, diagram here because it's really handy. It um, shows how the length of the shank um, and the width of the gape and the gauge of the wire varies with Actually, it doesn't do gate length, uh, width of the gate. So it shows how the heaviness of the wire and the length of the shank varies across different types, classes of trout flies. So you've got streamers, obviously a long shank. Um, you're fishing for big fish, so you want a heavy wire. Uh, you've got like caddis pupa, um, floating nymphs and standard dries. You want a short shank here for the um, caddis pupa uh, and a light gauge wire so the uh, fly can sort of sit in the surface meniscus. Um, and then when you're looking at terrestrials, long dry flies like hopper flies and stuff, you're coming up here to this light wire because you still want the flotation, uh, but you're getting a long shank length. Um, and down here in the wet flies, nymphs, right through to saltwater big game flies, you're looking at a short shank and heavy wire because that sort of suits that style of pattern better. Um, and this will briefly, I'll, I'll briefly explain the um, the other system of numbering, which is important to know is, um, so with these characteristics, you've got these, you've probably seen on hook descriptions like this one, I'll, I'll go down to another one, uh, it's probably easier to do. Yeah, so take the Timco 100, this is a um, standard Timco dry fly hook, very popular hook. So what this is, is uh, you'll see this definition here, 1x fine, um, wide gape, etc, etc. So what this X system means is, uh, what this is saying is for if you had a, let's say you had a number 12, and here you can see how the, the hooks vary with um, with size, so let's go to a number 12. So what 1x fine is saying is the wire is actually um, one gauge finer um, than the standard, from the standard. So what you do, what, what, what that's saying is the wire used to make a number 12 in this style fly is equivalent grade to 
what would be a number 14 in the standard Gemco fly. So they made the, they've used the 14 wire, standard wire, on this hook to make so it's slightly um, finer, so hence the term 1x fine. And if they used the size 16 wire to make this hook, um, it would be 2x fine. Same with the width of the gape, it can be, if it's a wide gape hook, it'll be two, 1x wide, and that means the gape is as big as the next size up in, a, in the standard. So that would be um, the gape on the 12 would be the same as the gape on the standard 10. 2x wide, the same as the gape on the standard 8. It's a bit confusing, but hopefully that kind of gives you the picture of, um, of how those things vary. So what the X, the X system works with um, gauge of weight of the wire, length of the shank, and the um, width of the gape. So we'll just have a quick scan through these flies. These are dry flies. Uh, so that he, here you see 2x short, These this fly is um, very short shank, 1x fine, it's very light, it's a fly for um, mayfly mergers, um, CDC flies, um, very small tri flies. Now we'll go to something a bit different, um, long fly here, this is, uh, where's the 5212, this is a standard hopper pattern, as you can see it's 2x long, 1x fine, um, nice and light but nice and long good for tying hoppers. Um, I'll just do some, uh, maybe some uh, wet flies and then we'll, we'll finish off the discussion here. Uh, what have we got, a standard nymph hook. Yeah, this is standard nymph hook, I think, for TMC the uh, TMC 5262, versatile nymph and streamer hook. Yeah, so it's, if you see this, it's 2x long. Maybe it's not the standard, it might be a long nymph hook. Uh, two times heavy. Um, so basically you're taking two steps up the the chain of length and heaviness, um, that's shank length and um, wire weight, um, so, and the gape is the standard size. Uh, now where are we? Um, take a streamer hook, yeah, 6x long, um, heavy wire. Uh, what are some others we could look at? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is say a um, popular fly for um, saltwater patterns that um, fish that can pull a fair bit. Um, maybe use that on a salmon or steelhead fly. So you've got a uh, 4x long, 3x heavy, so nice and heavy, it's not going to get straightened out. So um, that's basically all there is to it. I'd recommend, um, you know, if you're interested in learning more about this, this um, catalogue from Timco is a good place to start. Our blog post, which we've linked to, uh, which I'll link to in the description field, uh, and also, just remember, if you are looking for, once you once you get your head around different sizings of hooks, different types of hooks, if you're looking for a particular hook uh, that's called for in a, in a pattern, you can go onto our um, search tool and online hook store, just punch in that, um, if you don't have the hook, just punch in the um, brand and the, and the model number, and it will tell you what the equivalent hook is across a whole range of different um, manufacturers. Maybe you find the one there that you prefer, and then just click on it to buy um, I'll just show you that before we um, move away here. Okay, let's say we want a Tiemco 100. So I'm on the I'm on the hook database page. I select Tiemco, then I go. I get a drop down menu which has got all of the different um, hook types on it. Um, let's select the the, the hundred uh, and hit search. And there we go, it's brought up the 100, so if you wanted to buy that, you'd click on buy now, and it'll take you to one of our retail partners, um, who'll be able to set you up with some Timco 100s. But if you like tying in Arex, who sponsor this tool, they make great hooks. Um, if you want to buy the same hook in Arex, you've got it here, it's the FW500 Dairiki, it's the 300 Daiichi, it's the 1170. Um, Kamasan, it's the B400. Uh, Mustard, it's the 94840. All of these are the same recipe, if I can call it that, 1x fine, wide gape, downward eye. Um, and we'll just do one more before we go. Um, let's just use a nymph hook, for example. Um, what I can also do with this is, instead of using the model um, tool, what we'll do is we'll compress it back up here with, by hitting new search. We can actually just select by type of fly. So I mentioned in this video a couple of times, hook, I want to was looking at hopper patterns. So let's try and find um, that kind of fly in here. Uh, where are we? We've got all sorts of different categories. So this is where we'll... Um, yeah, here we go. 
Um, so all purpose from dry fly down eye, that's what we were looking at before. That's well, not that. Um, yeah, bigger dry flies or big long dries. Here we go. This is this is the sort of fly we want to find for a hopper pat. Uh, where are we? This is curved. Um, so we've got what have we got here? Hmm, I'm just gonna pause on that for a sec. Um, extended body dries, dry flies. Um, especially dry fly, dry fly, small dry fly. I'll be one sec, mate. Can yeah. you just shut the door again, please? What's wrong? You alright? Oh, okay. Can, sorry, dude, I'm just recording my screen here. I'm gonna have to edit it if, um, okay. to chop this bit out. That's alright. Yeah, okay, so we've got this sorted out. And remember we talked about hopper flies uh, a little before. We'll, we'll use the tool a different way to try and, um, let's say we want to tie a hopper, we'll try and find the right flies um, to do that. Uh, I'll just um, shrink it up by doing a new search and same here, new search. So this time when we come into the tool, um, we want to search by the type of fly we want to tie rather than um, try and find a sort of replacement for a particular um, kind of fly. So what we'll do this time we want big long dry flies. So that covers us for a hopper patterns and we will search for that. Yeah, okay, so now we want to look at how we can use this tool to find a, a suitable hook for a particular type of fly rather than using it to find the equivalent for a um, given hook model. So maybe we want to tie like a um, standard nymph, for example, um, and we, we, we want to make sure this is a proper nymph hook, something that's a bit heavier than, um, say, the TMC100 that we were dealing with before. So we scroll down um, until we find what we want, and generally it's the uh, dry flies up top. Um, and then you go into the um, nymphs. So here we go. Um, curved nymphs, no. Uh, all purpose nymph hook is what we want. So we put that in, we search, and then it brings up um, the all purpose nymph hook, uh, which is two times heavy with the downward eye. 
across a range of different manufacturers. So Arex, it's the FW580, Daiichi um, 070, Dai, um, sorry, Daiichi 070, Daiichi 1550, all the way through Gamakatsu, all of us, um, down to TMCO, which has um, the 3769 as its um, standard hook. Um, let's say we wanted to choose a, um, an emerger hook um, to tie an emerger on. So we're back in the dry flies, we go up again. Um, let's try and find, uh, where are we? Clink hammer emerger style hook or dry fly and emerges for picture. Let's go with a clink hammer. Um, let's say we're tying a clink hammer, search on that. And this is what we get. Um, so these hooks are all going to be one times fine, four times short, four times wide with that downward eye for the classic sort of clink hammer. Um, kind of profile you want. So you've got that same fly across Arex, Daiichi, Tiemco, um, two different Tiemco models that fall into that category. So that's how you use the tool if you want to find, um, if you've got seen a fly pattern or you've chosen a fly pattern that you want to tie um, and you don't know what hook to use. Uh, so just come across to um, this tool, which um, it's got the um, link in the dark, in, sorry, the link in the description field and you'll find it there. Um, we hope it's really useful to you. So hopefully after um, watching this video you're fully across um, the sizing system for hooks, uh, how the manufacturers describe their different characteristics of hooks uh, and where you can find equivalents for different hooks uh, and suitable hooks for tying particular patterns and um, buy them. And we're just on that last part, um, of if you wanted to buy them, let's say very straightforward. If I click through here on that on the on the image itself, that will take you through to one of our retail partners who's got that particular hook on sale. So here we go, Trident um, Arex uh, FW524. Um, here's you just you're in the purchase page already. You choose um, what size you want, how many you want, and away you go. So look, thanks for your attention. Hopefully this uh, video has been good. Like I said, we're going to do another one soon on um, describing the different types of hook. We've had to touch on that briefly today, but it'll be a more um, complete explanation. So hopefully um, this video has been of use to you. Remember to subscribe, um, hit like if you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.